Hi guys, welcome to our uh, screencast about uh, the Match 3 Starter Kit. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize, but uh, uh, I am screencast impaired, so be nice. Now, uh, here we have a, a Unity project that I've just created. Uh, in this project uh, there is nothing else but uh, the ma this Match 3 Starter Kit that uh, I have just imported. As you can see, the folder structure is quite a simple. We have the Match 3 Starter Kit folder, which is the actual uh, package folder. Then uh, you have the NGUI uh, redistribution uh, kit. Uh, this one is the folder that you do not want to import if you already have NGUI uh, installed in your project, obviously. Uh, and the resources uh, folder, which contains the data folders uh, uh, with all the board definitions. We are going to get there just in a second. Now, the Match 3 Starter Kit uh, uh, will deliver to you uh, the ability to create in minutes uh, uh, Match 3 games uh, uh, in the style of uh, uh, Dual Quest. Uh, uh, and so on. So uh, it will not deliver to you uh, something like uh, uh, Bejeweled. Okay, so it's not uh, 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 race time or uh, anything else. Is uh, a quest uh, style match three, uh, classic version. Now, first off, let's see the play area editor. Now, this one usually I take uh, into the tab here in Unity so I can have it available all the time. Uh, it's quite easy as you can see you have uh, on the top normal strong, extra strong, super strong, block tile and no tile. These are the kind of tiles that uh, uh, come with the kit. The board number, rows and columns. So it's quite uh, Say for word. Now I'm going to load here the board uh, number one. The here you go. You can see uh, this is the definition of our board. We can uh, uh, change it. Uh, for instance, I can add a couple of extra strong tiles here and save the board. Okay. Now this is all you have to do to create. Uh, uh, your play area, so it's uh, kind of easy. You can create uh, uh, something like a hundred different uh, playground uh, within a hour. Quite straightforward. Uh, let's have a see, a look. Sorry, to uh, the scene that comes with the kit. Here we go. Uh, it's uh, a kind of very simple scene. We have uh, just a board, which is a, squ a square 3D asset, uh, a light, a couple of markers left and right. We'll go there in a little while. The main camera, which is a standard uh, perspective camera. And the uh, NGUI, uh, the NGUI user interface. In game, this is what you have. If I run the game right now, here we go. That's it. This is loading uh, uh, another. Let me see. Board manager. Here we are. And this is actually the uh, main and uh, unique script. This is all you have to do to create your level. The board script. Now here we are loading the board number 2, which is 9 by 9. Now let's load board number 1, 10 by 10 to start with, which is the one we have seen here. Okay. So, let's start. 
and here we go we have the board that we have defined if we don't fully like this setup we can do something like this change the board a little bit set the board run the game and here we are so uh, it is pretty clear that to create uh, hundreds of board uh, setup it's straightforward very easy very simple uh, it takes seconds really to do now uh, how you define the board in the game the, the level in the game uh, mostly you just uh, put your uh, uh, background your uh, assets uh, in this in the scene and all you have to do is add the board script to a game object with a few parameters like uh, which is the first board that has to be uh, loaded uh, the type of game we're getting there in a while in just a little minute and the markers left and right and these uh, are quite important because uh, uh, this allows the system to lay the uh, tiles down properly so once you have your uh, uh, asset your main board design uh, one thing that you totally want to do is uh, to add the left and right marker and you can see uh, those markers are nothing but uh, uh, empty game object that uh, tell to the board script uh, the margin the uh, left hand side and the right hand side of the board so from left to right uh, how the tiles have to be uh, organized on the screen so are just markers but are important because uh, uh, the script cannot know uh, where to start laying down the tiles and where to end uh, on your design so that's all you have to do to actually have the uh, the game uh, up and running now let's have a look to uh, the script uh, level time in minutes how much time this level uh, has to last so the user in this uh, default setting has 10 minutes to finish to end the game uh, how many seconds be before a hint is uh, displayed to the, to the user on the screen so here the default is 40 seconds if this that, which means that if the user is just staring at the screen not doing anything for 40 seconds uh, uh, a hint is displayed to uh, to the user and here you have the hint effect and the hint sound so it's up to you to create uh, something nice uh, the, the kit comes with a default uh, uh, sound the default uh, effect uh, the tiles, how many points the normal, the strong, the extra strong, and the super strong tiles worth in the game. Here have, we have the left and right markers uh, that we have seen already. And a nice flag is match 4. Uh, this uh, uh, is uh, unchecked by default, meaning that you have a match 3. You can check this if you want to have a match four gameplay. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, new pieces from top, uh, which is the usual way the match three games go. If you uncheck this, the the pieces, the new pieces will come to the board uh, from the camera. Game style, standard or marinas. Now these are two different uh, gameplay. The standard gameplay is the one that you know already is uh, like uh, Jewel Quest uh, and all others. Uh, Marinas is named after my wife uh, uh, because she actually invented uh, this one and uh, the only way to explain this to you is to actually play this game so game style marinas and uh, let's play it uh, now 
here it looks uh, the same but it's actually not you see here this nice red tile this can match you, you see that is a selected there is a, the selected effect uh, uh, played around with the selected tile and you see you can make a match here here we go so it swaps the tiles so you have a new tile selected here it's an orange tile this can match with this tile here and here we go so it's a different gameplay now it's the blue tile selected so you have to match a blue and we go here swap match done and so on it's a different flavor of match three uh, or match four depending on your flag uh, kind of nice actually and original so uh, the tile prefab is just uh, the tile and tile position the z axis tile and piece position this allows you to properly set uh, the position that's very depending on uh, uh, how thick your uh, uh, models are so if you use uh, the models that are given with the kit uh, as a, uh, as an example to have yours uh, modeled uh, you can just leave this uh, z tile and z piece position as they are uh, if you're going for a different thickness uh, it's up to you to properly uh, set these values uh, this is uh, played uh, uh, on a perspective camera so uh, the z axis position is kind of important then here we have the materials uh, of the uh, of the tiles the normal material tile dawn material block material uh, so that we can uh, at runtime change the material on the back of the tile okay as you can see uh, these uh, as uh, any other uh, match three quest based uh, game uh, the player wins when uh, all the tiles uh, become golden or whatever else material you want to assign to the tile that has been actually uh, cleared Okay, so the winning condition, uh, just like I say, they, they can't stress enough, uh, is not like Bejeweled, uh, but like Jewel Quest, uh, you have to clear uh, all the tiles uh, on the board. Okay, then going on, you have uh, the effect that has to be played to Peace Destroyed. The special piece, uh, uh, the prefab, uh, the special piece prefab uh, is the one that uh, uh, is uh, shown when you have uh, blocked tiles. Let's uh, talk a little while about blocked tiles. Here we go. I'm adding a couple of blocked tiles here. Save the board and play the game. <coughs> Now here you have we we have blocked tiles. Now the only way to unblock the blocked tiles is to uh, match special pieces. Here we go. Here we have coins. You have to match three of these special pieces to unlock the locked tiles. These with uh, the padlock. Now here in the screen. Okay. So the only way to unlock these and to make them normals is to match three special pieces. Nothing really difficult to understand, I guess. It's up to you if to use or not this feature, just simply uh, having or not uh, the blocked tiles on your board. Okay. Now going on. Uh, active effect uh, this is the effect that is played in marina's mode uh, uh, around uh, or on the tile that is uh, currently selected 
and the, again the Z axis active effect, effect position. Now here we have the uh, arrays that defines the type of pieces that you have around. Uh, normal pieces, strong pieces, extra strong pieces, or super strong pieces, they come in uh, uh, different arrays, different flavors, they, and you can define how many of these uh, are actually in use uh, in this specific board. In this case I have six of each. These are picked at random. Okay. You can have as many as you want. Okay, you see here a max pieces. Max pieces is uh, the value that tells to the script uh, how many uh, different pieces have to be picked this specific board. This is very important because uh, if you have, uh, for instance, uh, uh, 20 different uh, kind of pieces for uh, each uh, uh, for each kind, uh, you can actually uh, you cannot actually imagine to have a uh, 20 different kind uh, on the uh, on one board because uh, playing becomes just impossible too many of them uh, too many combinations uh, it will be impossible to play so uh, you may have uh, 20 30 40 different uh, just to have uh, uh, many different flavors of your uh, game on each different level that you are going to load but here you have to limit to a, a reasonable uh, amount uh, that are uh, that are actually picked at one time for one board uh, to be shown uh, to the player and to be used okay so that is a quite important thing then uh, here we have the audios the new piece destroyed piece and the slide piece the audio that are played when a new piece is spawned, when a piece is destroyed, and when a piece is slide on the board. We have already seen board number, rows and columns. Uh, fill on X and center on X. Uh, these uh, uh, are uh, for mobile usage, uh, actually. If you don't want to use any kind of background uh, or anything else, so you can just uh, uh, tell the script to fill the screen with the tiles and in this case uh, uh, we have a perspective so camera size is not really going to work but anyway you can set up your scene uh, uh, in a way to have a, uh, an orthographic camera and fill uh, the whole thing uh, not having any, any background okay and that's pretty much all about uh, uh, the Match 3 Starter Kit. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, and uh, I leave you to uh, the next video that will uh, go uh, into the actual uh, customization of the scripts. Thanks for watching!